Frog, 1970, directed by Freddie Francis, starring Joan Crawford, Joe Cornelius, and Michael Goh. The science community is rocked to the core by the discovery of a troglodyte living in a cave in the British countryside. Can the compassion of an anthropologist help make a breakthrough with the prehistoric marvel, or will the meddlings of an unscrupulous local businessman doom the find of the century? This film was recommended by a fan. Thanks for the suggestion. The cast of this film should seriously get an award for their performance. They are the glue that holds this film together. They give the film a solid foundation to work with by taking the film seriously, giving the story some serious weight. Well, almost everyone. This guy happens. He's dead! He's dead! Joan Crawford carries the film the most with her performance, in what would ultimately end up being the last film in her prolific career. Michael Goh is an especially nasty foil to Crawford's compassionate scientist as well. Which is funny, as most local businesses will normally jump at the opportunity to capitalize on a gimmick that puts their town on the map. The Trog costume is... It's, it's bad, I'm sorry. It looks like a gorilla mask with a poncho of long wigs attached to it. The actor underneath isn't even made up in a suit that makes him look more primitive. Joe Cornelius gives a perfectly adequate performance as Trog, though. As much as uh, an entire performance of grunts and squeaks can give you, at least. Research revealed that the costume was reused from Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. The costume isn't the only holdover from a previous film as well, as stock footage of dinosaurs from 1956's The Animal World appears in the film as well. The tone and the intended audience of this film are hard to figure out, too. As the film goes from being a murderous horror flick in the first act, to having moments at home in a film for younger audiences where Crawford gradually makes a borderline maternal connection with the creature, to going back to furthering its first act body count again. There's a chance Toby Hooper might have been a Trog fan as well. At about 1 hour and 18 minutes in, a rampaging Trog actually impales a butcher on a meat hook, much like Leatherface iconically did in the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Who's to say Hooper didn't catch a Tuesday matinee of this film while working on the script for his career-defining classic? Verdict? Recommended. It's definitely a weird one, but this film is more fun than a barrel of monkeys. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling, low-budget adventure.